Okay, um, so I realized I forgot to explain the green screens. Um, so if I click on this, this is my green screen that I made. Um, let me just make a new green screen just to clear everything up. So right click, assign new material, Arnold Shader, AI Tune. I'm going to name it green screen um, color. Do this one. Tone map, click the checker box, ramp, and then to change this, you're going to make sure your selected color is black. So since we don't want to have a multiply layer on this, we want it to just be flat, completely flat. Lighting won't affect it. Um, it's just green all the way through. We're going to change this to white um, because white just means that it's going to show up um, through the shading and stuff. It's just the original color. Um, so that's how we would make the green screen and yeah. Alright, so um, if you set up a shot and it's in the exact same position or like very similar um, and it's like only a couple shots later and you want to do the same lighting, um, what you're going to want to do is um, just like, hmm. well I guess what you can do is just import it into the scene that you're going to be working in next. So just import this entire shot 13 rendering into shot 15 if that's what you're doing um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to um, Okay, um, so I opened up shot 15 and I want shot 13 in here instead. Um, well, for the lighting, I mean, I'm just going to save these guys and then retexture them to be exactly what I did for 15 by like copying the textures and moving them over and stuff. So, material. Yay, it worked. Hooray. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to add a light. Um, to see what it looks like in the Arnold render view. So what I'm going to do is make an area light by going to Arnold, light, area light. Now it's going to show up in the very middle, so you press F on your keyboard. Oh, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of weird stuff. All right. Um, oh yeah, got to go to show lights. All right, now it's this red thing, so I'm going to scale it up so I can see what I'm doing. Also, the scaling of lights um, affects how big they are. Like, I know, I don't know, some things in Maya, like when you scale them, they don't actually mean anything, but lights, they do. It's kind of like having a small flashlight or a big flashlight. Um, one of them shines with a bigger area. So, I am going to drag that over to where I'm working. And I'm going to, um, just like, um, what I want to do is kind of have it be like, he's kind of backlit. Um, so instead of having it right on him, um, what I've been doing is kind of putting it to the side. Um, and then sometimes I put a, a light on the other side to give that nice rim light look. Um, so... think that this is going to work. Let me just show the camera so I can see if like it's at the same angle as the camera. I think it is. So what I'm going to do is put it back here more. Um, Alright, so I'm going to move that around a lot, I know. Um, 
just so that the tune shaders look good. But what I'm going to do is um, up the intensity. So one does nothing. So what I'm going to do is put it from 100 to 500. Um, that's like the max. But I'm going to start with a good old 200 for intensity and 8 for exposure. Those are the settings that you change. Also volume samples, but I do that right before we render so that I can work faster in Arnold because the more light samples you have or volume samples, um, the more slow Arnold gets to render. So um, I'm going to open my Arnold view and uh, make sure I'm on camera shot 13 and see what happens. First one always sucks, so you know what? That actually didn't suck that bad. <laughs> um, I kind of like that um, angle because it, it kind of looks like he's backlit. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is probably have a light over here so that it looks like it's coming from that side as well um, because of this whole thing. And then I'm going to adjust the throne and the, the, um, the things in the background so that they look um, more like affected by the light because the tune shaders you can move the ramp around um so that it's affected by shading in different ways so i'm going to deal with the king and the knight first and then i'll get to the rest of it so I'll close that because it slows it down when you're working um, i'm going to duplicate the light move it over because i liked that setting and it's just easier than making a new one and i can always change it so I'm going to have this like over here-ish. Um, I want it to affect the king, so I don't want it to go straight into the knight. Because um, you want to use as little light linking as possible um, just so that the render is fast. But I mean, sometimes you can't avoid it. All right, so now I'm going to see what happened. It's like kind of fun seeing uh, <laughs> what it's going to do, right? Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think I'm going to move it just a little bit further over. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That gives... Oh, no, his fingers look weird. <laughs> it's always something. So moving it up and down helps, moving it over a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, so I have something that affects the knight and the king and looks pretty good. And my computer is heating up like crazy, so I'm going to save. Alright, so one thing I noticed in the render view um, is that this thing has a tone map. We don't want that to have a tone map because it's a window, um, so I'm going to take that out. Um, and then um, I also noticed in the render view, if I play it again, um, you'll see why I did that. Oh, actually, hmm, I might make a duplicate shader so that um, this is like yellow and then this has the purple, because I think it looked nice on that. So. Gonna undo. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go to Hypershade. Now, if I wanna find which one is assigned to this, you go to Edit. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah. Select Materials from Objects. So now it's highlighted in yellow. It's this guy. So I'm going to Edit. Duplicate Shading Network. Now it's this. So I'm going to change that to um, just the inside yellow. So now I'm going to assign it because it, that didn't really assign it. So assign it. Now it's different than the outside one. I'm going to go and subtract that. So now, oops. <laughs> I assigned them to the wrong ones. Yikes. Okay. Not that bad. Easy fix. Um. I 
okay, it's that and that. So I'm going to switch them. So this is going to be that, and then this is going to be that. Yeah, okay. That's what it looks like. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to be editing the uh, textures of like this because um, this looks kind of weird with this back shadow. The throne doesn't have enough shadows on it, so I'm going to edit that. Um, yeah, so what am I going to do to start? Um, I'll probably make a light um, that affects the floor only. Um, that way I can, uh, or maybe like affects this area only because I kind of want this, this whole thing to be lit up. So I'm going to do something that only affects certain things. So I'm going to make a light by duplicating this light. That should be good. That seems big enough for that area, right? Yeah, okay. What I'm gonna do is go to the rendering tab, go to lighting and shading, go to light linking editor, and then light centric. So this is gonna show me the lights in a list and then all of the things that they're affecting over here. So this is light shape three. So it's affecting all that stuff and everything highlighted in blue or this kind of blue too. So what I'm going to do is go edit, make lights not illuminate by default. That way it's not lighting anything up from this list. So now I'm going to just select the things on the list that I want to be lit. So I'm going to figure out what their names are by clicking on them in here. So that is that. Um, so floors and carpets, that is something that I want to be um, illuminated. So command or control, whatever depending on Mac or PC, control click if it will work. Okay, it's probably lit up. <laughs> yeah, I guess selecting it in here selects it in there or something. I don't know. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do long carpet, stairs to throne stairs carpet those are all lit now um this back wall is this back wall there we go um and then the floor i guess i'll light the floor up too let's just do that um i think that's everything all right um close the light linking editor open Arnold's render view and play. Hello. Okay, now there's no shadow under the night. I forgot that that would do that. Damn. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get a shadow under him. Or we can just draw it in post because it's like kind of tiny. Um, I know. I know what I'll do. Um, instead of doing the light linking thing, um, I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to delete that light. It's like all about trial and error, you know? So by deleting that light, go back to what I was doing. Alright, I can start from here, I guess, in the tutorial edit. <laughs> so I'm just going to see what's going on here. Hitting play. Okay, so we have a nice shadow under the night. That's pretty cool. Um, I like that, but um, it looks like he's floating a little bit. So I am gonna move him down, um, which I am fine with people um, that are working with these files, um, just moving the base control um, if they're floating because they don't want anybody floating. 
this is a magical land, but not in that way. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, that looks fine, but that um that weird thing is from this light that's over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it not hmm. I guess I will make it not affect the night. That's probably fine. And then I'll do a different light that affects the night. Um yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's cool. We'll just do that. It, it takes a while to do these kinds of things. It's not just like throwing the lights in and being like, oh, it's done, <laughs> which is annoying. Um, so I'm going to make it not affect the night by going into light linking editor, light centric. Um, this is area light shape one. I'm going to find the night in this list. Uh, there it is. Command click or control click. Now it should not affect the night. If it all load. That's so weird. Alright, um I have a feeling it's because of the floor then. So I'm going to redo that uh connection because um, it looked nice on the night. Why deprive him of the light? I'm gonna take this, go to material attributes, and just make no tone map. And we can just do the shadow in post. Sometimes you do what you gotta do. Or, or, oh yes, wait, I'm gonna undo that. Okay, I'm going to take this, go to Lighting and Shading, Light Linking Editor, Light Centric, and I'm going to not illuminate the floor by the light. See what that does. Maybe that will be just what we need. Um, It's like annoying trying to find everything because it's all like throne room this, throne room that. I don't know what's what. There's so many things. Floors and carpets maybe. Okay. Um, throne stairs carpet is not going to be. Maybe that was the problem? Eesh, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing. Um, that was not the problem. Okay, cool. What am I gonna do? It might be this light behind him that's being weird. So I'm going to make that not affect the floor. Okay. Um, okay, we might be able to work with that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Carpet, materials, um, and I'm just gonna adjust it and see what happens. Just moving the tune shader around. Okay, that gives him a little bit of a shadow back there. Maybe I'll make it darker. Um, yeah, it's fine. We can adjust whatever weird spots and stuff there are later.
Ugh, that's so annoying that it does that. Because now it's in the back. Okay. I'm going to figure this out and then come back to recording. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so what I did is I made it not affect the night. Um, now I have an idea for how to make it affect the night. And I'm going to make it not affect the floor so that I can do a separate thing for the floor. So. Weird. I want it affecting the throne, so. Alright, well, whatever. I'm just gonna hope that making another light over here that only affects the night will, um, will fix this. So maybe do the light from this way. That way it's like the window is doing the lighting. So that's area light three. Edit. Make highlighted lights not illuminate by the vault. Or default. Why did I say the vault? Alright, I'm gonna make it illuminate the night. And let's See what that did. Okay, that is fine. Um, but I want a shadow under him, so maybe the downstairs carpet needs to be lit. Maybe if I bring this back. <gasps> Yay! There's look. There's a shadow. That's kind of cool. Yes, okay, cool. So now there's a shadow behind him, but I want the shadow in front of him. Because <laughs> that doesn't make sense with the light. Um, so let me just try moving this behind him. Don't know if this is going to work, but we can always try. Okay, yeah, that's not working. <laughs> We're gonna have to do the shadow and post. And that's cool, we can totally do that because the character's staying in place. So it's just a hard angle with so many characters in one shot, like, because the background doesn't usually matter um, as much as the characters and it doesn't move. So like the light, you know, is like fine. When you have two characters in a shot, it gets super annoying, so. um. But the good thing is, I can use this light setup for whenever we use this angle, which is in a couple shots, actually. So, what am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna make the carpet into its own texture, because I want um, the throne to have different textures. Um, and the throne, this color, is the same texture as this, so I want them to be separate. So, um, select materials from objects, um, edit, duplicate shading network, okay, 
Now I'm going to assign it to long carpet mat. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to get rid of the multiply layer because I don't want a shadow on it. I just want it to be light so we can add the shadow in post. Same with the floor. Um, we don't need the shadow because we just don't. Um, and then for this back wall, material attributes, let me keep this open. Um, I'm going to hit play while I go. Um, I don't know, I kind of like something like that. Well, um, hmm. it's weird because of the light thing. Hmm. Well, you know what you can always do is assign this back part and the front part to be different textures, but then it'll have like a line. And you don't want a line, so what I'm going to do is just make that this part lighter. Um. And then put them together. If it'll let me make it look good. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do another light link. So, you know what? Let's just make it um, a darker color. I think that looks fine. Whatever. Um, so the knight, I don't think he has a light on him, so I'm going to make sure that the light in the light linking editor is, is, oh, that one's not. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that looks good. All right, cool. So I'm just going to add a shadow and post. Who cares? Um, now I'm going to go to the individual king textures. I like how it looks on the face, which is the most important thing to look at, the face and the hands. Um, because the body textures, um, they're so round and they don't have very many divots. So like, it doesn't quite matter um, like when you're setting up the lights if they look good. You just want to concentrate on the fingers if they all look separated um, by the tune shader and the face. So I think both of those look fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go to his tone map for his body and let it play. And I'm gonna add more. Shadow. To him. And uh, let's see, I don't know. I don't really like how that looks. So I might just add even more. Yeah. Oof. You know, it's okay to have a little bit of fade on the body because, I mean, what are you going to do? You know, it's fine. So that's cool with me. Ugh, it looks weird on his body like that. That's like annoying. All right, I think that's fine. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, everything else looks good on the king. I think I might add some stuff to the crown. So just like bring it <laughs> a bunch of ways until it looks good. I mean, that's fine. Um, the hair is fine, the throne and the lollipop thing need adjusting. So that's way too dark. I'm gonna wanna do a lighter color for that. That looks pretty cool. But it's not accurate, but like, uh, who cares, you know? <laughs> it's fine. Gotta move on. It's 
just little things that like whatever um, all right so now I just have pretty sure it's just this that's assigned to that texture it might be this weird floor thing you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this over or I'm gonna hide it because I feel like it looks weird right You know what? I kind of like that. I don't like the weird thing that's happening to it. But I can change that very easily. So what am I going to do? Hmm. Um, I'm going to duplicate the shader and assign it to the floor so that the throne and the floor aren't the same shader anymore. So, hyper shade. Oh. Let me save. Oops. Okay. Floor texture. Let's find it. Edit. Select materials by object. There it is. Oh, that's the same? Weird. Okay. <laughs> Edit. Duplicate. Shading network. Okay. Now I'm assigning it to this. That way, um, when I mess with the throne texture, it's not really doing anything. So I'm just going to select a face that I know is gold. And I'm going to play with how the light affects it. Clearly that's too much. Oh, why should have the throne be affected by a light that's coming from the window? Well, I'm probably going to need to do this anyway. That's cool for now. Um, maybe. Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this light not affect the throne. That is, where is it? There's one that's just straight up thrown, pretty sure. Wish I remembered what everything is called. Oh, throne. There it is. <laughs> it's so confusing. Alright. That looks pretty good because I like the light coming from over there affecting it. Maybe. Maybe I don't. No, actually I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same in this then. So where's the throne group? There's the throne group. Bada bing, bada boom, it's all dark now. Grabbing this. Turning it. And putting it behind the throne. So this is our throne light. Hopefully, it looks good. So that's light four. Edit, make my light lights not illuminated by default, and now it just affects the throne. Wow. I'm gonna try to make the exposure higher. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna make it wider. I'm gonna make it 15. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. I think that looks really cool. Alright, last thing I'm gonna do before sending it off to the group chat is 
go into that material attributes and just make it a dark color because why not? Whatever. Um, Alright, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I might make this drone texture thing. Where is it? No. Why is it being so difficult? Okay, face. I might make this a little bit lighter. See if that looks better. It does. It does look lighter. Okay. Awesome. Um, I think I might also make this shadow different. That looks pretty cool. I don't know. Um, I think it looks like it's coming out of the window and um, we'll have like a thing under the night so it really looks like it's affecting him. Oh his he doesn't have backlighting. You can see it from this. So Ooh, I might have to light the night separate. I'm gonna go into yeah, because I don't want there to be a shadow where the light's supposed to come from. That is dumb. So very light one. Undo the night. Uh, make another light just for the night. And oh, I mean I already have one, but like hmm. I might just put it like here. It's already light five. Did it not illuminate night? Alright. See what that does. Okay, that's pretty fun. Give it more exposure. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I want his darks to be darker, but only on his uh, dark stuff that's not metal. <laughs> so material attributes give me the dark or dark. Oh my god, you can hear my stomach growling. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like that. Maybe it didn't need to be darker. Maybe it just needed to be bigger. Yeah, that's fine. All right, my computer is heating up again, so save. Um, and I like the feather. I think the feather looks fine. Okay, so I think that's lit. What I'm gonna do is close out of this. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure it looks good with the contour filter, which is my last step usually. Bef after setting up all the lights, I will change the render settings because I don't want the render settings to like look crazy. Um, or not look crazy, take crazy long <laughs> for loading. I'll let other people change the settings for that stuff and I'll just make it so that it looks good. Okie doke. Let's see what happens. Did 
Ooh, his mouth looks bad. Okay. Um, make sure my settings are okay. Um, counter four. 1080 should work so what's making that weird is the UV map is not done right so or the UV shell edit Oof, zoomed in too much UV shell So that's the one that I changed, right? Yeah. Eesh. Maybe I just need to open his jaw a little bit more. So, yeah, there are keyframes on it. Looks fine there. Probably gonna look a little bad there. Here. Move that down just a little bit. Okay, so if you ever have to do this, I would really appreciate if I got a play blast first, just because it's my animation. And I might put it in my demo reel, so I kind of want it to be like exactly what I don't know what I would do, I guess. I don't know. So Save. Um, now let's open the render view. Oh my god, why is it doing that? Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, it looks good there. I'm going to make sure it looks good on all of the keyframes that the mouth is doing stuff on. Fine. And that's fine. And I'm going to just take one from the end. Damn, it looks weird there. Okay. Maybe when his mouth is lower like that, it ends up looking weird. So I'm going to open his mouth slightly so that the tune shader isn't clipping through the uh, other tune shader. So his last mouth position should be like that. And then as he goes from here to here. Gonna be like that. Let's see how that looks. That looks better. Hmm, his eyes. Well, I'll probably fix his eyes just so we don't have to in post, and his mouth still. It's just the camera angle is really weird with his mouth. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now on to his eyes. I guess I have to open them slightly. Or pull them up or something. Let's see if it's just that frame. Ooh. 
it's whenever he closes his eyes. Cool. All right, I'm going to make all of his blank tens, not blank ten. Well, he did something. Oh no, it's glitching out on me. Cool. Alright. I'm just gonna do this one. Let's see how that looks. Because it looks pretty good in there. Center. No. All right, well, this is going to be a Jacob Fix and Pose. <laughs> no. Oh, that's why I saved so much because it crashed. Well, good thing I saved a few minutes ago. <laughs> it better not be corrupted now. I've had that problem today where if it crashes when I'm rendering, sometimes it means that the file is corrupted. I really hope it's not like that. <laughs> That'd be really sad. Okay. We're back. Gotta fix the mouth again. I will do that and then that oh that's hmm. that's weird. <laughs> For some reason, um, the thing in the back has a shadow now. Sometimes that happens. It just forgets uh, that you change the shaders when it references it in. Really stupid. But we can change that really fast. I'll fix the mouth and then it'll be done. Now the floor. Dang. 
that off. Looks fine. Now, uh, mouth. That's right, the mouth. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to fix the mouth. Okay. Let's open our window view, please. See what's going on. That looks fine. Um, I'm mostly just checking the keyframes. Because I think things between the keyframes, theoretically, would be fine. You never know though. That keyframe is cool. That looks fine. I'm just seeing if the mouth line will show up for all of these because I don't want Jacob to have to pick both. That would suck. Um, okay. Maybe it's the king's head turning that's making it weird. Okay, well, if I just raise the king's head a little bit. We don't have the problem as much. And it looks fine. So, I'm just gonna pause that. Pause it. It's annoying. And I'm going to concentrate on animating the mouth. Yeah, you can't even see it. It's kind of cool. It's like you can't even tell that it's open. It's kind of great. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, he's crying, so like, you know, it's going to be okay if it's like, I don't know, um, open a little bit. Let me just play it. Um, I'll save it, and then I'll play it. That's going to be fine. Like, whatever, you know? <laughs> so, I'm going to say that it's done. And what I'm going to do is render a frame from the beginning and the middle and the end and send it in the group chat so that people can see it. So, yeah, that's how I lit this scene. Um, it's probably going to need changes, but... Uh,